reference date to a UX calendar. Hey Henjo, dear app sheet experts. I have a sheet with a column appointment date. By default, when users will add data to my sheet, the appointment date column will show a typical calendar view. What I want is to reference the appointment date into my UX calendar like this. Okay, so like on the 9th, I think, maybe. Um, the reason behind this is on my UX calendar, I will show all available date slots that the user can select for their appointment meaning I only want the user to, user to select specific dates on the UX calendar that has the available status, hoping for your guidance. Um, all right, so I'm not sure what, <clears throat> I'm not sure what, you're, what, what, you're, what you're really asking here. Are you asking, is there a way that you can restrict the like date entry calendar thing that pops up? Uh, the answer is no. You can restrict the, the data that the field accepts. Like, so you could say that, you know, the date has to be between, you know, X and Y. Um, and so when they, when they, the, when they click into the field, right, the calendar thing will pop up or they can click, like go around and click on a date. And then once that date is entered into the field, then the validation will run on that. And if it's wrong, then, you know, they'll get a little red thing that says this is an invalid date. But there's no way to force like that little inline calendar view thing. There's no way to force it to where it's like only this week right here is an acceptable thing for them to select. You can't do anything like that. Um, if you wanted to go a different route um, where like um, instead of like, so like I, I'm thinking that from the perspective of like we're in a form and we've got a date field and when I click on the date field, then the little calendar thing pops up. So I, that's like, I was thinking maybe that's what you're meaning. Okay. Now there, there might be another thing that you're meaning and where it's like, you want to be able to display a calendar to your users. Right. And then on that calendar show like all of the available dates and so that they can click on them. <clears throat> the only way that you can accomplish that, is by uh, physically showing, uh, by actually physically having records that represent the open slot. Uh, the thing with the calendar view is that it's basically just another version of like all the inline views, like a table, like a deck, like a, like a, a, a card. Um, they're all they're, they're all different ways of looking at multiple records. And so the calendar view is just the same way of doing it. It shows you multiple records. So in order to see something on the calendar on the calendar view, you have to have the records for it. So what you could do is you could create a system where ahead of time, right? You have maybe an automation that runs that creates some records on a schedule or something that creates some placeholders for all of the available slots. And now those, since each one would be its own record in a table somewhere, those you could easily show on the table and you could, uh, you could base the color of the little entry that the person sees, you know? You could base that color on like the status, whether somebody has claimed it or not. You could, once, once they claim it, you know, use a slice so that uh, the calendar only shows open ones. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do if you did that. Uh, but what I'm getting at is the only way to show records in that calendar view is if you have records uh, to show. Hope it helps. Let me know if it doesn't. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. Make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. It really helps the channel with all the algorithm stuff that's going on I'm trying to build. Also, if you really want to show your love, you can head on over to patreon.com slash multitech. There's some goodies over there. It's 10 bucks a month. I got a lot of good stuff going on over there. Check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the community.